Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. So today I'm going to do a wig review for you. It's a short hairstyle. I have lots of re uh, requests to do shorter hairstyle. So I'm going to do one for you. And I'm going to be using the Milky Way Saga 100% Remy Hair Wig. This is the box that it comes in. This is the hairstyle. And uh, yeah, I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm just wondering how this is going to look. The color that I'm using is a 1B and the name of the wig is called Champagne. So I'm going to be doing that for you. So taking the box top off and the wig is packaged very nicely. This is how it's packaged. And um, I guess if you're not using it, if you wanted to, you could store it back in the box. So I've already removed the hairnet from the wig. This is what it looks like. Short do. This color is a one, I think I said a 1B, I believe I said a 1B. Yeah, it's a 1B, but it's very dark. It's very pretty. And let me show you the inside cap construction. There are no combs with this wig, so later on I will be sewing in my own combs. It does have the adjustable straps in the back. And it is a wefted cap design with a stretch panel in the um, center to give you some extra stretch in case your head might be a little larger and if your head is smaller you definitely can adjust the size of your cap by using the adjustable and uh, let me just shake it out and I'm going to put it on so all I have to do is just slip it on again there are no combs there is no lace and there is no parting space with this wig this is basically again just a full cap wig does have the moldable ear tabs right here and very curly as you can see and this is just right out of the package I haven't really done anything to it beside run my fingers through it okay so now definitely feel like I need to do something with this And I'm just trying to make sure that it is on my natural hairline, which it is. And I could pull it back a little bit more. I definitely need to sew combs in with this wig. Because, I don't know, I just I like combs. Okay, so it does have some length. Now, I think this might be measuring like six inches of length. If I can, you know, if you, if you need the length specs. I didn't see any on the wig box but it seems like it might be running especially in the front about six six inches five and a half to six inches so right now I'm going to take my tangle teaser brush this is the brush that I couldn't remember the name of a few videos ago it's a tangle teaser and I'm just gonna just brush the wig out just kinda brush some of the curls out just to see what we gonna do with it and also guys I have heating up my flat iron this one this is by Red Pro the name has come off but this is definitely the Red Pro flat iron and I'm going to be using that and and you can get that from your beauty supply store if you're interested in any Red Pro flat irons or any flat irons really have a nice selection So I'm just going to brush it out first. I probably should have showed you the back before I brushed it out. But sorry about that guys. But let me just show you now. Kind of fluff it up a little bit. And show you what I um, what I have here. Let me just turn around a little bit. Okay, so let's get to it. So basically, now with my flat iron, I have it on the lowest temperature, which is 200, or it might be below 200, but I can see 200. And I'm going to just take small sections of hair and just kind of 
reshape it give it some a little bit more volume and a little bit more of a different style I don't know what it looks like in the back guys but I will show you what the back looks like I haven't seen it myself <laughs> but this is really cute this is really cute I think I want to get some more height at the front here because I like big hair and if I could have big short hair this would that would be cool It looks very natural. It's really natural. So let me show you the back very quickly. And I hope it looks nice, guys. I haven't really seen it myself. It looks okay. Definitely, we'll look at it when um, I go in the bathroom. I can use my bigger hand mirror. Okay, for my edges, just a little bit. I do want to just kind of kind of work this area a little bit just you know make it pop a little bit more with that natural look I'm going to be using the olive oil edge control It's in a tube this is the gel stick this is what it looks like it just it's in a gel form I'm just gonna roll it back down just a little bit and I'm just going to it's like a gel gel stick form and it's a little bit stiffer than the product in the in the jar push my wig cap back a little bit. I'm going to use my fancy hair tool that I created with using just a toothbrush and some of the leftover um, gems that I use for my DIY. And um, I'll leave the link below if you want to check out how I blinged out my um, makeup cube there. I'm just going to bring a little bit of my own hair da down a little bit. Let me get that out the way. to do that use the gel stick just kind of run it down just lightly I don't use a lot of this just put a little bit there put a little bit more right there because I'm going to blend some more hair down and over it but I'm blending my own hair guys I'm not using any of the wig hair oh this wig I don't believe has any baby hair so there are no baby hairs attached to this and just going to bring out a little bit more of my own hair and just kind of just bring it down just like that and let me just kind of make it a little bit fancy I'm not going to do this side because my edges aren't really exposed on that side. And uh, yeah, guys, so this is it. And I'm going to let you guys know how this is um, working out. But as it stands right now, this is a thumbs up for me. And I know you can find this wig. I, I, this wig, it's a price tag on this wig that says it was 70 five dollars I don't believe I paid seventy five dollars for this I think I paid maybe around fifty nine fifty eight and um, I know it's online if I find this wig online I definitely will leave a link below for you if you're interested in it and um yeah guys so that's it this is champagne this is what she looked like let me get that um, bottom half of the box to show you what she looked like and what I transformed her into so, this is what I got. This is what, what the wig will look like when you take it out of the package. And this is what you can do with it. And you can use a flat iron. You can use a curler, I believe. I didn't use a curler, probably will later. And um, I got my heat setting on low on my flat iron, so you may just 
you know, start out with a low setting and see what you get. And um, yeah, guys. So <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you think about my short do. And um, take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.